Julius, welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thank welcome you, to the D23 Expo. Captain America, New World Order. We've been with Sam Wilson for years. Tell me where you think you want us to find him in this journey. Look, he is in a new position. Stepping up to be the leader as Captain America is gonna be a new set of challenges for him. And in this story, a big part of his journey is, well, how do you define that leadership? That's the thing that he hasn't had to deal with just yet. As a Falcon, he was always there supporting the rest of the team, but now he's the man leading the team. And I think that's going to be a really exciting journey to go on with him. I can't wait to see it. The, uh, the, the Russo brothers directed him through four movies. Kari Skoglin got him for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. All that came with kind of distinct styles of action. I'd love to hear, what do you, what do you think you're going to bring to the table in terms of getting Anthony Mackie to get some new moves out there? There's a lot we're going to bring to the table. Again, this is a new set of challenges and a new set of adversaries, you know? So um, I love classic paranoid thrillers, and that's a big part of the inspiration of this film. We want to find action that is grounded and tactile and give him new things to do that you haven't seen in those other films. And I don't want to spoil too much, but let's just say uh, we are planning some really, really exciting things. I can't wait. And it also looks like it's going to have heart because the Bradley family is coming back, which is super exciting. The first Captain America, as we now know, what can you tell us about kind of the heartstrings you're about to pull on and maybe a lesson in MCU history? Well, look, leadership is about making tough decisions. And there's going to be some really tough decisions that Sam has to make, both with the Bradleys, both also with Joaquin Torres, who looks up to him in really, really, really important ways. So when you think about the group of people around him, again, without spoiling our movie and the journey he has to take, there's some really, really emotional and powerful stuff in store for audiences. Tim Blake Nelson is back. We last saw him possibly becoming the leader in The Incredible Hulk in 2008. What can you say about that return? Let's just say one of the things that really drew me to this project is the leader is a man who operates from intellect. And it's so great to have an adversary who is working with this incredible intellect to really, you know, put Sam through the ringer in this story. And again, as a paranoid thriller, it's this grounded adventure where I think everything that happens in this film feels so real and intense because of who this adversary is. So back to that other question of yours, what he's going to have to go through in this film is because he's got an adversary who is so terrifyingly intelligent. You know when you guys start yet? We are starting next spring. Oh, that's good. I can't wait to see you, man. Thank you so much. Thank it's so a much. pleasure to meet with you. Congratulations. Thank you so much.